In this video I'll be showing you how you can make a progress bar using ASCII characters in Python. So first up I'm going to show a demonstration of the code so you can see how it looks. Uh, so this is the progress bar and that's all it is. It's a simple progress bar that you can use when you have an iterating function and you want to see the progress. In this example I'm just using the time function to slow it down uh, but you would just have this simple call function. So now I'll do a walkthrough and explain the code. Alright, so first up we need to define the function. So we're going to call this print progress bar. We're just going to need two arguments. So I'm going to call the first one progress and the second one end. So the way this works is really simply a print statement. It's just got some special formatting in the way it's done. So I'm going to write a print statement and there's going to be a string with a dot format method. In the string, this is where we're going to be printing that progress bar. So I'm going to use some brackets just to put the frame on this loading bar. Inside of that, I'm going to use for, uh, curly brackets starting with a zero. So this first argument for the format is the block here which loads the bar. So this time I'm going to use a greater than bracket and try that out. This first argument gets multiplied by progress. So as this increments through the iterating function that you call, it's going to multiply that by that ASCII character and it's going to be printing that out. Next thing in the format is we're going to add in another curly brackets and put a 1 and this is going to be the next argument which is going to be the filler. So if you remember before these white blocks came here there were some dashes so this is the filler item which I like to use the dash to fill the progress bar and that gets multiplied by end minus progress. And I'm going to put that in parentheses so this takes the end value which in most cases it's going to be a percentage so it would be a hundred so a hundred percent minus the progress of whatever it is and this is the incrementing value one two three four five all the way up until it gets to a hundred so this is eventually getting less and less and this one is eventually getting more and more as it, the progress goes on and then another thing I'm going to put in the progress is I'm going to print out what the actual percentage is. So I'm going to add another curly brackets and a 2 and then we are going to print out the actual progress. So that number here that's in incrementing and we're going to show it as a percentage. Now the key that makes this work is using end equals backslash r. Uh, and I, I put a parentheses in the wrong place, so I'm going to delete that. The next thing we need is if the progress reaches the end, then we need to do a print, just an empty print statement. So this will print a new line at the end, and I'll also show why that is needed. So that is really all you need for the function. It's that simple you would call this function and it's going to print it out for us. So I'm going to set up an example so we can see it iterate for us for i in range 0 to 101. Uh, we have to use 101 here because if you remember the range function does not include that stop value so we're doing 0 to 100. Then we call the function print progress bar and inside that we need to put the progress is going to be i, that's the number we're iterating over, and then next is end. We want to end at 100. So that will be 100%. And just so we can see this, I'm going to import the time library, and I'm going to do a time.sleep of 0 0.05. Uh, if you were actually using this in an iterating function you wouldn't want to actually slow your code down like this but I'm going to do it so we can see the progress bar without it going too quickly. So when I run that you'll see it's printing out the progress bar and you can see how each of the arguments have their place in the string. 
So now I'm going to point out a few more things, which is going back to this backslash O. Uh, I mentioned this is necessary because let me show you if I delete this and run it, you'll see that we get a new line for each progress value. But obviously we don't want to have the loading bar do that. We want to add in n equals backslash O as part of the print statement. Normally what the print statement does is it will end with a backslash n new line character. So instead we are overriding that and saying we want the n character to be backslash r. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out is what happens if you remove this. So I'm going to comment that out and run it. So what will happen here is this is going to get overlapped at the end. You see here the directory just overlapped that code because once it reached the end it executed this backslash r again, so it put it back to the beginning. So you want to make sure that the final at the end of it, when you do your next lines of code, you do want to have that new line character there, which is what this is doing. This is essentially what's implied, but just to keep it simple, I'm using an empty print statement. Now you can really do some interesting stuff to customize this for yourself. If you want to get that block which I had shown in the beginning, you can look into an extended ASCII table. And I got that as character 219, the full block, solid block. If you copy and paste that in and you run that, that gives you the more uh, common loading bar that you might see. And then remember this, you know, you could change that same thing to whatever you want it to be. So it's very easy customizable once you understand the core statement here, which is just one print statement and then a final new line at the end. So I have linked to this code on GitHub if you want to just copy it in and play around with it from there. And I hope you learned something and thanks for watching.